Hello everybody. So uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the Ink HUD um, display uh, of Mestastic. Mestastic's implementation on uh, these e-ink type displays. Now, as you know, an e-ink display is a very low powered display that uh, you know refreshes very slow uh, um, but it, it draws very little power. And uh, here I've got a Haltech e-paper inside a, um, you know, a little mobile case. I wouldn't say this is the best use case for it, but um, it is a nice big display, um, you know, um, and that, that's definitely one of the things that I really enjoy about it is um, the size of a display. If you compare that to a... Um, a uh, you know a Haltech V3. The display is really only this big. You know it's it's a <laughs> it's much much smaller than this. Um, and um, you know so this is really a a nice big display and very readable. So you could read this in direct sunlight, uh, no problem. So um, the display is great. But so Mestastic, what you see here is it's loaded with a standard Mestastic firmware. You know, if you turn it on, you'll see it uh, slowly refreshes because that's the speed it works on. It says resuming, just like any uh, 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 Mestastic node would do. And, you know, it goes into the standard Mestastic stuff. Um, that's the node and it's on long fast. And you can cycle through a few things. So that's the standard UI. And that UI also works on, you know, the Haltech V3, little display. It works everywhere. Great. But today I'm going to try and flash this with the ink HUD. So um, I'm going to connect a um, quickly a, 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 my, uh, a USB cable to this. And um, on my computer, let's go to... Uh, to flasher.mestastic.org. Here we are at uh, flasher.mestastic.org. Um, I'm going to select, and uh, they do support a lot of devices nowadays, but I'm going to select uh, uh, wireless paper, Haltech wireless paper. I'm going to select a 264 release, um, which is a beta release. And I'm going to hit flash. And uh, I'm going to hit continue. But uh, here's where the difference comes in. If you just flash this the normal way right now, update, it would put the normal UI onto it. But if you install this ink HUD, install ink HUD, I'm going to turn that on. And I'm going to update the device using ink HUD. Now it's going to ask me where my device is. I'm going to say that's the one. Actually, I'm going to unplug it and make sure, yep, I'm going to plug it back in. Yep, that's the guy we're talking about. I'm going to say continue. And it's going to write the new UI to the, um, to the Haltech paper. So let's come back when that's done. Right, we're back. Um, it's uh, now updated with, as you can see there, the ink cut, and it's a, a heads-up display. It says, press any button to continue. So, um, mestastic.org. So, this is the specialized display, or the specialized UI then, with a display driver for this, uh, for this specific uh, HUD. So, um, or this um, display. Here. So, it gives a few tips here on setup. Um, you know, connect your antenna, do that kind of thing. This is pretty standard. Shutdown tips, you know, it customization. It's got a whole bunch of tips there. And as you can see, it flashes and it says zero nodes at the moment, um, no message, uh, node positions, and um, that's about it. So, um, First thing, uh, you know, you obviously need to do with this guy is then, since you flashed a new uh, firmware, 
you would need to uh, connect to it using your mobile app and set it up. So um, I'm going to do that quickly. Okay, here is then the first step of uh, uh, um, of uh, connecting. Um, it's showing me a uh, a pin code which I'm going to enter into my my uh, Mastastic app or my Bluetooth um, of my device seven eight four seven five three. I'm going to pair to this. Uh, you know, there's, uh, there's many uh, tutorials on setting this up. I'm connecting to it, um, uh, um, and I'm going to just set it to uh, United States. I'm going to leave it as Mastastic uh, A8DA4 is its name. So I've set uh, the region in it now. It's going to reboot. You'll see that it reboots. And um, so it's going to come back. And you can see it's uh, version 264 there. Um, I really like this display. It's again showing some tips. Um, I'm going to click through there. And it um, at this point, it's heard no nodes. It should start hearing some nodes now. And there you can see the first node that it sees. Um, it's now made con con contact with that. Or it was able to um, decode the first packet of a node that is a mestastic node. You can see also the strength of that node. It hasn't got more detail about the node at the moment, but um, it will continue to in its discovery process now. We can see there's no messages and there's no positions and we're back here. So how this um, is, uh, is, is really what I like about this display is um, apart from being uh, um, very, very nice and readable, you can see here is it's got the time, it's got the battery voltage, channel util utilization, and the duty uh, utilization. Um, so how this works is you long press the button to get into this menu, and um, I'm going to just go to options. I'm going to long press. It has applets, auto show, uh, um, you know, um, recent uh, duration. What? Uh, layout, I'm going to go to layout. We can see we have a layout that I can split across. So I'll go for the standard layout. And then rotate is definitely something I like doing uh, on this type of display. I'm just going to hit the button long a few times. And um, you can see how it rotates. And I'm going to rotate it this way. So I like the display uh, upright like this, rotated upright like this. So to uh, let me make sure we can still focus there. So that is rotated uh, that way. So um, now we can see, um, you know, if I move down, I can go to battery icon, I can turn that on. Um, and I go to exit. Oops, I should long press that. Um, I go to exit, I long press. And it's back here, and now we can see all the nodes that it's discovered. And it's got the two ops, two ops, two ops, and it's got, uh, you know, this one obviously is in, y, uh, in range here. So, um, you know, if I send this guy a, a little message, and um, we can see it's just refreshed. That's how these screens refresh. You can see that it's just refreshed there. Um, and, um, you know, if we send out the message, um, I'm just going to send out a, a, a message called test. Um, and we can see that it switches to that and it shows test um, over there. Um, and it shows from which node it came. And here it's starting to populate the map. Now the map's not there at the moment, but this is the proximity of all the other nodes to you. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, um, and then this is all the, the um, you know, all the nodes. So um, I think it's a really great UI, which is definitely different than the standard one. Um, the other thing, uh, you know, if you wanted to uh, change more options, you can uh, 
like you say, you can turn auto show on and off and you can, um, you know, how long does it show the recent and, uh, uh, you know, how long does it keep that list? Um, layout, rotation, notifications. But if you wanted to um, shut down here, it's best to use, um, you know, uh, in this specific note, I typically would just press the button and shut it down. But I think what you need to do in, in the new version is you need to press the button, go down to save uh, and shut down, long press, and that will actually shut down the node and it puts a node number there and the Mestastic logo. So um, that's a, a basic rundown of uh, the ink HUD on a uh, wireless paper. Um, I'll have some links on where you can buy a wireless paper. I think you can build some really nice nodes that doesn't use a lot of power and that you can really see in, in all you know, lighting conditions. So um, thank you for watching and uh, we'll speak again soon.